Welcome back. Well, it is the first full week of hurricane season, and we have been telling you how you can be prepared. And now is the time to make sure your home is protected against any natural disasters. And joining us with tips on how you can do just that is Cody Sagawa, Estimations Manager at Kapili Solar Roofing and Painting. Aloha. Thank you for having me. Of course. Thanks so much for being here, because this is no a really problem. important topic, and especially a very timely one since hurricane season just started. But what are things people can do? Are there measures and upgrades and improvements we can make to protect and reinforce our roofs, especially against storms and hurricanes? Um, of course, especially with considering a roof replacement, you mm -hmm. can ask your contractor about things like um, wind ratings, impact ratings, and choosing a more durable and uh, impact resistant roofing material can make the roof have a better chance of withstanding hurricane conditions. Okay, so the type of roof and I guess mm -hmm. the materials used in the initial installment makes a big difference. Yes, and as far as like maybe a simple upgrade that people can do, like let's say if they have a new roof already, mm -hmm. is if they don't have hurricane clips along the rafters mm -hmm. of their home, they can easily add that in at any time. And that's something that homeowners can do right now to yes. secure their roofs. And it doesn't, does it necessarily matter if the roof is new or at what point, I guess, should you be replacing your roof versus making sure you start to add those hurricane clips? Um, as far as replacing a roof, just schedule regular uh, inspections. That mm -hmm. way you can go ahead and get a professional opinion about your roof. Um, the older the roof is, uh, most roofs have an average uh, life expectancy. Um, as far as hurricane clips, as long as your rafters are, don't have any at the moment, you can install them at any time. Oh, okay, good to know. And then what are some long-term strategies or considerations that homeowners should keep in mind to ensure that they have an you know, ongoing roof protection during a hurricane? Yeah. Um, Scheduling regular maintenance, getting things like done, like cleaning out gutters that could mm. potentially get backed up from heavy rains. That could also cause potential roof damage, um, as well as things like uh, checking with your insurance, knowing your policies, things like that. Um, you may need additional coverage if necessary, so you can go ahead and just make sure you know your policies. Okay, yeah, definitely a good tip. And for, I guess, you, you see a lot of roofs out there. Yeah. What are some of the most <clears throat> common I guess, vulnerabilities or some weak points on roofs that you see that you think can be addressed through that routine maintenance? Um, a lot of the times um, on most homes or all homes, um, you have roof penetration flashings, things like vents or pipe jacks or even chimneys. Um, getting your roof regularly inspected um, can prevent these things from leaking over time and catching them ahead of time and being proactive instead of reactive. Um, in the case of a hurricane, you don't want to be yeah, too late. <laughs> right, and, and it, I mean, we're talking hurricanes, but it doesn't even have to be a hurricane. I mean, we've seen some really powerful windstorms recently. Yes. I, I've, I've mentioned this on the show a couple of times. I was house sitting in Manoa about a month and a half ago, and the neighbor's roof blew off, and it was just a random windstorm. And so yeah. that's something that, you know, if they had those hurricane clips already on, could have potentially been prevented. Yeah, like regular inspections um, with the roofs blowing off, it could have been things like the age of the roof, mm -hmm. um, possibly workmanship, um, or just the type of material. So choosing things like metal roofing, tile, or like a specific shingle mm -hmm. can definitely increase the chances of high winds, you know, protecting your house from any type of damage like that. Right, and, and you mentioned, you know, doing these inspections, regular inspections, but what exactly does that mean? Can you provide some guidance on how <laughs> often we should get the roofs inspected? Um, it really depends on the location of the home. Areas that get more rain, maybe like Manoa or even Wahiwa, um, we would recommend getting f more frequent inspections, maybe biannually, quarterly, um, especially houses with a lot of trees around them as well. You may want to get more maintenance and more inspections done because a lot of debris can fall on the roof and mm -hmm. cause a lot of issues. And what are some of those warning signs people should be looking for? Um, uh, things like deterioration on the roof, um, just maybe knowing having records of when the roof was done. If mm -hmm. it's been over 30 to 40 years, then maybe it's time to oh, get definitely. the roof checked out at least. Okay. Um, as far as uh, things like that, um, I would say the main thing is to uh, just get some, some maintenance done. Yeah, and, and of course you folks can help out with that maintenance and with the inspections. So for those who want to get in touch with you guys, where do we go for more information? Do you guys have a website, phone number? How do we get in touch? Yeah, you can go ahead and go to our website, kapiliroof.com, um, or you can call us at 808-621-7663.
Perfect. Kapili Roofing and Painting, make sure you check him out. Now is the time, especially when hurricane season is upon us and you want to make sure your homes are prepared. And something so crucial, your roof, right? It protects everything that's inside. You really want to make sure that's top of mind. Thanks so much for joining us today. No really appreciate it. Thank you.